for the longest time, I've been thinking about some face modifications, right? Some face modifications. Some of you eagle-eyed people out there who may have seen some of my piercings will know that I used to have two piercings on my nose. One on the left side, one on the right side. Unfortunately, like an idiot, when I first got my piercings, I got the left one first and the right one second. So unfortunately, when I did go get my right one done, the right one wasn't aligned. And because I'm a little bit of an OCD freak, because I've got artistic tendencies, because I'm a stickler for symmetry, every time I was watching myself in a camera or every time I took a selfie, I couldn't not not see or not not noticed that the right one was a bit lower than the left one. I'm not too sure if you have, anybody else might have noticed it, but I know I noticed and I couldn't handle it. So over a period of time, because I kept staring myself in the camera from doing my content I do and from taking various selfies with the duck lips, when I'm out and about and shit, I thought, you know what? I can't be doing this double piercing. Anymore. I have to take out one. So I took out the right one because I quite like where the left placement is. So now I'm thinking maybe tomorrow or Friday, I need to go into central London to the place where I went to go get it done the first time. I actually kind of forgot the, the actual name of the tattoo parlor, but it was a little trendy tattoo parlor somewhere in central London that also does piercings and stuff and go down there and get them to align it so that both piercings are the same. Hopefully, what they'll end up doing is they'll end up probably taking off the piercing so they can see where the actual piercing is in my skin and then kind of line it up and then show me because when I got it done the last time, I think I got done, the left one was done in London and then the right one was done in Madrid when I went um, for a weekend. And the, the, the piercing shop that I went to in Madrid is really popular. It's really cheap as well. And they were literally, you know, they had a queue outside of this guy's room. It was piercing everybody. Like people, girls were coming in to get their belly buttons pierced, whatever, nipples, everything, right? It's just like, it was churning them out. So I didn't really have a time to go back and forth, you know, and be like, oh, I want it here. I want it there. So when I went in there, he just like popped it through and then I was kind of gone. And by the time I realized it was obviously not sent, it wasn't um, aligned. There wasn't any symmetry in it. So when I go get my piercing done, I have to go and figure out a way of getting them to have it aligned so that both piercings sit exactly where they should be there because I just couldn't handle it how it was. And I, I left it in there for a while because I liked the look. But now that I'm thinking of getting the piercings, because I've got these balls, right? These little balls, right? Um, on, the, on my nose. But I'm thinking now of having these little tiny spiked cones. But if I get the spiked cones, they're only going to look good if they're actually aligned. So I have to get them aligned. Hopefully get them done by the end of the week. So if you're going to see a mod, you'll see that. You also might see me get my hair braided by the end of the week. Also, that's something I'm, I'm going to look forward to do. I'm tired and bored of doing it because I'm such a flipping... I wouldn't say I'm lazy... But um, I usually don't really put a lot of time into stuff like that, you know, like, because I don't think I'm lazy. I do a lot of things. So I'm not lazy, lazy, but I am lazy in terms of go get my hair done, go get it braided. I have to fucking comb it all out. I have to go book myself at the fling. I got to be there for an hour and a half. Like it's a whole fucking day or half a day of fucking things to do. And, you know, God forbid I, I don't put any fucking extensions or shit in my hair anyway, but I can only imagine what that's like for other black girls. But the braiding thing is annoying because I have to go get all that stuff done. Anyway, that aside, first world problems aside, I saw this picture of Drake and I thought to myself, I'm, I've now got an excuse to do this because I've been thinking about it for a while. Right? I've been thinking, I want to get a face tat. I don't have any other tattoos, right? None. I don't have a single tattoo on my body. But I want to get two tattoos straight away, right? I want to get a face tat and I want to get a tattoo on my on the top of my hands. And the top of my hands one is going to be really naff. You guys are going to cringe when you hear this. You know what I want to get on the top of my hands? On one side, I want to get A. On the, <laughs> what, on the other side, I want to get a Z. So right is A, left is Z. Guess what that spells? A-Z. That's what I want to get. I wanted to get that for a while, right? And I want to get it in a nice, like, gothic print font. Maybe outline only. I probably won't fill it. Just a nice outline only, right? Um, On the fucking, you know, top side of my hands. But then the other thing I was thinking of getting, now that I've seen Drake and his tattoo, was a face tattoo. I'm thinking of getting a face tattoo. I wanted one for a while, too. I want to get this really naff idea where I get the, where I get the, what do you call it? Um, The crescent half moon and then the sun at the back of my ear. So the whole idea behind it is from that Lanty Fo lyric. You 
know, almost like, you know, can't kind of a uh, representation of my lifestyle. <laughs> right? That's the deep meaning of this fucking cringy, corny tattoo. But if Drake can get it and he's old and washed, why can't I get it? Huh? If Drake can get it and he's old and washed, why can't I get it? Now, there's a lot separating, you know, me and Drake, right? His bank account, <laughs> his success, <laughs> his light skinness, right? His attractiveness. There's a lot of things separating me and Drake, right? But I think if he can get a face tattoo at his big age, why can't I get a little face tattoo? A little half crescent moon just underneath my eye here. So from afar, it'll look like a... T so it'll, be, it'll serve two purposes. It'll be really trendy and hipstery, right? And all the fucking, you know, all the white girls in the scene will fucking... Their panties will fucking get wet when they see me. Um, all the Asian girls will think I'm fucking hardcore. All the black girls will think I'm a little bit dangerous, right? So it'll be good for the ladies, right? They'll all get their fucking mops out for me. But from afar, from the fellas, it'll look like a teardrop because it's a tattoo underneath the eye, right? Just underneath the eye here. It'll be a little half moon, a little half crescent here, right? A little, little tiny little sketch. You know how the girls get that little triangle on the back of their heels, on their ankle or something, right? Or that little paper airplane. It'll be that size, really, really tiny. And then I want the sun um, thing. It'll be basically like how the emojis are. You know the emojis that you have with the moon? You've got the little moon face with the, with the eyes going to the, going to the right. You know that little, that, that little moon emoji will be here and then I'll get the sun right there on the back of my neck. That's what I'm thinking of doing. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Now it's really R worded, right? It's really redacted. I understand. It's really corny, really lame. The time has gone by and to get two first, you know, Tattoos ever on your body, on your hands and on your face is a bit crazy. But you know me. I'm crazy, right? Look at me. I'm the crazy boy. Ooh, look. Weird. Cookie. I've got a flask on top of my head. Right? I'm that guy. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm doing going forward. I cannot wait to do it. So that's the kind of plan. And since I've seen Drake with his new tattoo that he's got, which says, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's some, it's, it's like an Arabic phrase, right? It's some sort of, um, Toronto slang. It's called miskeen. What does it mean again? On Google, it says above his eyebrow, the word translates to poor or pathetic, but I think it's like, a, I don't know what the slang is. Maybe it means the opposite thing. Like I'm miskeen, like, you know, I'm on some madness. I don't know, but it's some sort of Toronto slang or something. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Poor, unfortunate. It's like a slang word, isn't it? Literally means poor. People use it as urban fashion, miskeen originals to talk about miskeen. So let's see. Well, it says an urban dictionary. What a miskeen child. Wow, did you see that miss that Mike Lotteris was wearing? He's so miskeen. A person who claims to be in a gang is really just a suburban civilian. So maybe that's what Drake is doing. It's sort of like a double entendre. Uh, Miskeen is literally poor in Arabic. Okay, whatever it means, whatever it means, he's inspired me to get my tattoo. And like I said, I want to get, I want to get like a hot. What to get? I want to get like a um, half moon illustration. A really small, so something like that, really small under my eye, like that. You see this? Something really, 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 really small under my eye. That, and then I want to get the sun. Uh. Let me see. Whoops. So I want to get the half moon illustration, right? You saw that, right? Half moon illustration. And then I want to get the sun. Sun illustration. Come on. Yeah, like that. So that that's what I'm thinking of doing on my face. Maybe, maybe something like that, though. Maybe that kind of, you know, uh, maybe one of those sort of like Asian inspired ones might do well. But yeah, that's what I'm looking to do. So soon you'll see me with hand tattoos, face tattoos, braids, two piercings on my nose, um, you know, and uh, and uh, and some vibes, <laughs> and some vibes, man. <laughs> it's gonna be so fucking funny. It's gonna be so hilarious. I'm just gonna pop out, and obviously with my Turkish teeth, I'm just gonna pop out like nothing happened. Like what? What's wrong? Just with my two Turkish teeth. Right, my two rows of fucking pristine chompers, yeah, 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 and of course my little face tattoo. It's gonna be an absolute madness. It's gonna be a madness.